Tonight's exclusive coverage of the Winston Select on TNN is brought to you by Pep Boys Automotive Super Center. Charlotte Motor Speedway from high over turn two from our Duralu aerial camera. We're getting set for the shootout. Ten laps for $200,000 to win. Now, Dale Earnhardt's car, we'll, as we watch our Napa field summary of where everybody is at this juncture with 10 laps to go. Buddy, was Earnhardt's car overheating, do you think? Or, as we set the field here, were they just, instead of recirculating that water that was already hot, just replacing it with fresh and cool? Well, what they've done, Ernie and I talked about this, they taped the nose up to get a lot of down pressure on the nose of this car, so they're cooling it off at each segment. And, uh, you know, running cold water through it and pumping the hot water out, that's not really uh, running hot right now. But uh, for 10 laps, let me tell you, he's going to let it all hang out now. Glenn Jarrett can update the Earnhardt story. Well, you guys are exactly right, buddy. That's, that's what they're doing. They're, uh, David Smith told me they're running as much tape on the car as they could. Uh, they've only got 10 more laps to go. It ran up to about 250 degrees sitting here on pit road. But on the racetrack, still only running 225, 230. That's in an operable range. No problem there. They just want the chassis to work as well as they can. Pulling out all stops to try to catch the 24 car of Jeff Gordon. Let's go down to Randy. Well, I'd like to give you some other information, but there are Waltrip, same thing. Tape on the grill, loosen it up just a little bit. We're getting ready to go green. Who do you like, Ernie? Um, I have to look at old DW. Wouldn't that be something? Well, otherwise, yeah. me and Buddy both be going for the same person. And, hey, then, and then I'd have to pick Earnhardt. <laughs> Ernie, <laughs> thank I'm you. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'd be thinking jump. I'd jump him jump right now. Jump to start. <laughs> what do you got to lose? <laughs> Earnhardt didn't, did it. They didn't oh, did DW it. did jump him. He got a little bit of a lead yeah, on him. he does, yeah. <laughs> Green flag, 10 laps, $200,000 to the winner. Waltrip pulled one out of his silver shoe, but we have a caution. Uh oh that's what they did last time. Yes. Earnhardt jumped the start, and on that occasion, they lined the back up the way they were running and restarted again. I was, I was in that one pretty heavily. Uh, yes. Earnhardt and Mark and me. They don't race back to the flag on this one. Everybody's out of the throttle. They'll line it back up, and the starter is pointing at Waltrip. He was pointing at Waltrip and shaking his head back and forth like, no, you don't jump my start. Oh, he's so, saying that, he, that Earnhardt's already done that. We know what this effect is. You, you've seen this movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's out on video cassette. I don't blame him. Know everything he did. Hey. Hey, it's worth the try, right? You know why? Because it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's what Earnhardt will tell you. Is that Pete Wright? Uh, Pete Peterson? Yeah, Pete yeah. Peterson. He's laughing. <laughs> hey, I think Daryl was, uh, they must be watching that RCA satellite and listening to us. Yeah. Uh, jump him, jump him. That's now, what we're they have told Pete, if Daryl jumps again, he will go to the back. That's the exact same thing they told her. her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the bank, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Now, okay. yes. now that the 17 car can't go, what about Earnhardt? Well, he can't really jump. He can't. He, he can't, can't move out of line. He can't no, pass. but I guarantee you one thing: he can be so close when I'd, he drops the green. I'd, I'd pick the 24 car. Tire is up off the ground, so he couldn't go. <laughs> Here's Randy. Well, we'll talk to the crew chief. Uh, nice try. It didn't work for Earnhardt. Evidently, it didn't work for you guys either. No, it didn't work. <laughs> Quit trying, <laughs> <laughs> Pete doesn't have much of a poker face, does he? Ah, man. <laughs> hey, listen, this is a lot of money, folks. Yeah. Hey, that's because they pay more to win. Now, the first two segments paid 50000 to win, 15000 per second, 7500 for third. None of the other positions paid at all. But here, it's two hundred grand to win. And if you get beat out of the lead on the last lap, you take a $140,000 or $120,000 pay cut. Second only pays eighty grand. Only eighty grand for 10 laps work. See Gordon cleaning those tires. I guarantee you one thing. He's thinking I, when they get the green flag this time, I'm going to be leading. Jeff Gordon carrying a good year in car camera tonight. They're in turn three. Light is out on the pace car. Man, yeah. Mm. Youth and enthusiasm on the pole and old age and treachery alongside. You got a lot. And behind. And behind. <laughs> pace car is in. 
And here, here they go. come. This looks dead even. Yep. He did not jump him now. If something happens to Gordon now, and, and Darrell gets ahead of him, so be it. Where will Earnhardt go? That may decide who has the lead coming out of turn two. Look at DW. He's actually, he's got a half a car length on Gordon as they come off turn two. Gordon pulls back. Oh, he's got a strong car. Here comes the old gray mare on the inside of Earnhardt all the way to the bottom. Oh, and he gets goodness. away with it. Great Hart, move. Hart start beating. He's still got to go by us. Still, oh, oh, no. No way. Oh, man. There's a bunch of cars in trouble. Bobby Labonte hits right at the flag stand. So does Lake Speed. There are five, make that four, crashed race cars. They're going to have to pay to get out of here. Man, that's rough. There. Earnhardt drove through the infield to his pit. Pete Peterson, the crew of Ronda Walter Sage. Bobby Labonte walks away. No Panther that wears that Charlotte helmet will ever hit that hard. And Lake Speed spam can has a few dents in it. He's not yet climbed out. They're talking to Daryl. I guess he's okay, it looks like. All right, Lake is out of his car. He's okay. Bobby Labonte's walked away. Earnhardt's car drove to the pit and then to the garage. There's Lake. Talking to Daryl still, they're going to hook the wrecker up to him. Daryl looks like he's all right. Yep. Yeah. Well, just, just it's rung his bell a little bit. But, uh, they're going to try to give him some oxygen. Like. Jimmy Maycar, crew chief, talking to Bobby Labonte, who is telling Bobby what he saw. And Daryl's all right. Taking out the earplugs and Looks like he took a little bit of hit there in the rib cage. I think he's more mad. Just not throwing mad at anybody, just man. Heartbroken is more like it. Right. Man. That race could well have been his to win. Randy? Well, Dale climbs from the car. Dale, you okay? Uh, Dale Earnhardt got a little bit of a limp. Uh, goes up to talk. We'll see if we can get a word with him. He's going to sit down here for a second. Dale, anything goes on that. First of all, you okay? You limped out. What do you mean anything goes? Well, I'm checking. Anything goes as far as I mean. It was a good, hard, clean race. It seemed to seemed to be. Just you just stuck it down there. What happened? Loose and lost it. Got you know. Got into there. Who was on the outside of it? Uh, well, you lift out. Are you okay? Bought my ankle a little bit. Okay. That's Dale Earnhardt. And he too thought he could win it and was trying hard, as was Walter. Take a look here. You see Darrell on the outside there. They start down the back straight away. Here comes Earnhardt on the bottom side, makes it three wide. Darrell gets ahead of the 24 car, Jeff Gordon. He and Earnhardt go into turn three here, side by side. You see Earnhardt starting to drift up right there. He's loose big time. Watch this car right here. Coming off the corner, you see it turn sideways. He gets into Darrell Walter. Both of them get into the wall. Boy, Jeff Bodine just barely got by there. And there's Robert Presley just sneaking through in the green car. And here's Earnhardt limping along. We've not yet seen how Bobby Labonte and Lake Speed got involved. Here's another angle. Let's give uh, Terry Labonte a call, too. Boy Presley, Rusty Wallace following him through. Not much room to go there, but they made it through. There's Elton Sawyer getting past. Different angle. Them two cars got slowed down coming off turn two, and Earnhardt had a, a heck of a shot going at him. And, uh, and then they got into turn three, side by side, him and Darrell. Mike Wallace down there on the bottom. Ernie, you can see right there, Earnhardt's got a bad angled end of that corner. He's, right. he's really having to pinch the car to stay that low. And right that gets him a little right loose. Right along here, it's starting to get loose on him. It almost looks bit. like it bottoms out here in a minute. I, I've seen some sparks. Some, one of them did. Daryl, I think. Yeah. Okay, right, right there. Right there. Yeah. He just got loose there. Much as Spencer did at turn two. The car right. just suddenly just broke loose 
and was into the other car. Yeah, it's just that that's what happened. Now there's Labonte going through the grass. Bobby the Labonte's car. car turned hard right just past there. And there's Lake Speed in the infield as well. Trying to regain control and losing it there and going into the wall. What a crash. We will be right back. Welcome back to another exciting night here at the Winston at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Now, we saw the replay a while ago. Bobby Labonte's car went down in the grass. Bobby, looks like you had a handle on it there for a moment, but tell us what happened. Uh, when you're in the grass there, it's over, you know, and I, I got all four wheels off in it. Uh, Bodine come down to miss the wreck, and uh, just uh, one of those deals. Awfully hard hit. Are you okay? Yeah, probably be a little sore, but, uh, you know, the Interstate Battery Chevrolet run great. Uh, you know, it was getting better as it went, and the uh, thing is, we got a lot better car when we come back. Things got awfully crowded there in a hurry. Yeah, it does. That's part of it, I guess. Okay, he wants to go to his crew and uh, talk things over a little bit. Appreciate his waiting by for us. Bobby Labonte's first trip to the Winston Select won't be happy memories. You'll see there's Lake Speed, the blue car in the, in the grass. You'll see he and Bobby Labonte into the wall. Ow, wow. Mm. Boy, Rusty did a heck of a job missing all those guys. He did as well. Drive to survive and to dodge the wrecks. That's been the story tonight so far, and there's more to come. Stay with us. <laughs> 